Libra, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So you're in this uh, energy, this new energy where you are discovering for yourself what, what it is that you have loved in the past, what it is that you love currently, what it is that you like. You're basically establishing foundations. And so the, the name of the game here is to recognize that even though you may go through um, moments of difficulty and challenge uh, at this time, don't let that set you back. If anything, grow from it and learn from it. And at this point, really just be loyal to what you love. Focus on what you love. Dwell on what you love. What is whatever it is that you're doing that's new, whatever it is that you're involved in, whether it's a relationship, a career, a new start of any kind, at this point is where you're going to feel the most vulnerable and it's where you're going to, good things are coming, but you're going to feel the most vulnerable. Think of like rabbit, right? Pretty vulnerable out there in the real world. So it's kind of how we feel. We feel a little vulnerable. We feel like when we are called to do something, uh, you know, is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know. I'm just here and I feel like it's I feel like it's right but I can't really tell right we're kind of in this limbo this wobble and so um, understand that basically this is like getting through so as we ascend uh, energy levels that's like what it feels like to level up right so it just feels really wobbly and are we doing it right are we not are we supposed to be here is this right I don't know right so we're ascending and you're getting to the next level of a video game so you're doing it you're doing it Libra you're doing great so at this time this is why we really encourage you and uh, I'm also in the same process so um also experiencing wobble from time to time. But so basically what we want to do here, fellow empaths, is we want to, again, keep the journal and we want to write down the puzzle pieces. That's it, right? We just want to write the puzzle pieces, just the clues, right? So what happens basically is we're going to call, be called to action. We're going to be called to try new things. So take that action because if you don't take action, you're not going to be able to have clarity, right? So action will lead to awakening. And once you go through um, the process of just taking that leap, taking that action, just trying the new things, just experiencing, uh, you're going to give yourself data, basically. Um, and again, you're going to have this awakening. And that's when you're going to be able to set boundaries. That's when you're going to be able to realize, okay, this works, this doesn't, loved this, not this, not so much, this didn't really energetically feel great, you know, and you're going to be able to really gauge it, right? Like, again, I've been speaking about it uh, openly, how I've been recently starting to just spend more time, you know, figuring out like my meals and food and what works for me and what does and whatever. And basically, um, I realize if I restrict myself too much, I don't like it. Uh, I realize that if I tell myself, you know, um, you know, let's fast longer. I don't like that. It's too restrictive. So instead, I just say, let's just not eat so look close to bedtime. You know what I mean? So like you have to energetically gauge what feels best for you, what feels like your truth. Um, and just uh, through the process of, uh, you know, trial and, and error. You'll, you'll understand your boundaries, right? Pretty, pretty simple, but when we're in it, we always feel a lot more, um, you know, uh, less confident. So just understand that, uh, you know, you may feel, again, a little underconfident in your skills, in what you're doing, in your lack of knowledge, let's just say. But we just want you to remain consistent in your practices and consistent in, in, in moving forward and consistent in just tuning in because you're never going to know unless you try, right? You're never going to know unless you try. So you just try, you just try, you just go out there, you try new things, you go for it, right? And what that does is that will increase the momentum that will start to move the energy. And again, when you try things and it, it either works really well or it might not feel great, so super great, either way, it's all experience and data that's being collected in your awareness for you to better understand yourself greater because adversity is how we meet ourselves basically right so today was the first day i woke up early and got my hit training practice in i usually do about 20 minutes of hit training i encourage all of you to do it because it releases attachments from the energy body when we do fast paced movement so i haven't been doing that for a while just because i was you know spending more time watering the garden of the whole food situation and um i'm back and uh feel way less attached feel a little more uh, obviously uh, fatigued this morning, um, but uh, I feel good and I feel less attached. And that's really kind of the goal I was going for. Um, and um, 
and then you know uh, have that little 20 minute hit training and then I'll always sit down with uh, with spirit myself have the journal collect puzzle pieces from the day before you know what did I love what did I experience um, that kind of a thing and then uh, from there I will uh, you know make my uh, you know make my little beverage and then I will jump into the reads my morning beverage recently has been decaf with uh, two teaspoons of cacao blended with water, and it's delicious. So that's my new go-to, in case any of you care. Um, but either way, we see here that you're just feeling a little uninspired and a little ungrounded. Um, and, you know, I hear you, because, again, going through the same motions of trying new things, doing new things. Um, but, again, that's why we just maintain a puzzle piece journal, right, so that we can... Uh, focus really deliberately on what it is that we like and what it is that we're experiencing. And that way, again, when we collect the puzzle pieces, it leads to the bigger picture, right? We really want to do something in our lives, but we don't know how to quite climb that ladder to get there. It's the puzzle pieces that Spirit shows you every day that gets you there, right? So that's why we want to be in the moment, collecting the puzzle pieces, create an awareness around each present moment and energetically how something feels. Because when we, it gets really fun when we start collecting the puzzle pieces, because then energetic, we're like, okay, How's this feel? This feels good. This aligns with the puzzle piece. Yeah, that feels good, right? But if we're not collecting puzzle pieces and we don't have an awareness that we're collecting information for the bigger picture, then we're just going to be stressing about the bigger picture, right? We're going to be like, is it coming? Is it not? Am I doing it right? Right? Because all we see is this grandiose big vision for ourselves and we're here and we're just seeing this gap, right? So when you're present and when you're collecting puzzle pieces and when you're aware of your own energy and what energetically feels joyful and expansive in every moment, you're you're in the flow of, of the now, right? You're, you're present. Your affirmation, beautiful soul, is difficult situations lead to divine solutions. Difficult situations lead to divine solutions. That's a hell yes. So just trust in the process, beautiful soul. Um, everything is working out best case scenario for you. And at this time, you just got to keep maintaining what it is that you're looking for. What what kind of... Um, what kind of... Um, energy are you looking to live your life in, right? Because um, that's the thing is that, you know, if we say to ourselves, we want, you know, calm and passive and, and financially independent and such, but then we make all the choices that resemble the exact different uh, opposite energy, right? Chaotic and stressed, then you can see how there'd be dis in alignment, right? And so we're just telling you to, you know, focus on Focus on the gardens that need to be grown. Focus on, um, or nurtured, we should say, right? Focus on collecting the puzzle pieces and you will get there. Uh, we can see that you're, um, you know, stressing a little bit. Uh, and we feel like it could have something to do with you feeling like you need to validate yourself, right? That's what that five of swords represents is always like that ego, you know, winning at all costs. Um, but, you know, doing something to win at all costs, no matter what it is, is just going to put you in the energy of control. You're going to try to control everything that happens, right? Well, I'm doing this to lose weight. I'm doing this to, you know, do this. If you do something for a reason, um, except for the, with the attitude of service in an abundant way or doing it because your spirit's guiding you towards it, uh, it's only going to put you in the um, energy of control. You're just going to try to control everything because your ego is going to realize, oh, I'm not where I want to be. I'm unhappy with my life. So here, let me go and, you know, figure it out, you know. It's just, it's not going to be very exciting and, and, and you're just going to feel this internal um, conflict and you're just going to feel very uh, unhappy. You're going to live a life of suffering if you're doing something to always get something from it, right? Just, you know what? Tell yourself, spirit's guiding me. My higher self knows best. I don't know Jack and I'm going to be guided through this whole game of life, right? But if you just let it go and surrender and you just tune into the energy that guides you in every single moment, you're going to be A-OK, -okay, right? I had to do this this morning because, uh, you know, again, I was like, you know, it's all the thoughts. Whenever you start anything new, right? So again, so I did the my HIT training for the first time in a few weeks. I've been doing this for years, but because it's been new in a couple weeks, it's new energy for where I am right now, right? So it's still new. So again, I went through all the motions of like, was that the right one? Could I have done it more intense? Should I have intensified it? Was it, was it, was it, was it, you know, energy clearing enough? You know, all the thoughts of like, what if? And that's when I started to feel this internal like chaos, right? I felt like, like clenched up tight, right? <sighs> just want to breathe that away. That does not feel nice. And we basically just want to uh, surrender. So, you know what? My spirit's guiding me. Uh, you know, this is my first day. 
congratulate myself. I did it. Woohoo. We did it. Yes. Yes. It's over. Moving forward. Right. And that's it. Right. You just want to be kind to yourself. You want to surrender and you want to trust the process. And that's what we encourage you for right now, because everything that you're going through is going to lead you to the higher outcome that you've asked for, no matter what. So your universe message Dwell on what you love. Universe says, asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. I wouldn't change a leaf on you, the universe. So if you're dealing with a person or, a, again, a business or whatever, it's still dwell on what you love. Don't focus on the change that you w- wish you see because then all you're going to see is how this person is lacking in so many ways or this business is lacking and it's basically going to upset the heck out of you. It's going to disturb your insides like like lava, all right? It's not going to feel good because all you're seeing is how things are not okay, right? It's just not going to energetically feel good. So there's a plan. There's always a bigger plan implemented, right? Focus on the good things. We promise you, just focus on the good things. Focus on the good things about your own life. Collect the puzzle pieces in your own life and allow the natural transformation to take place. It will, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. It's not going to be overnight, but it is going to be one day at a time and you're going to start to see the results of it. After about three days, you're going to start to feel better, right? But it's a three-day entrance into the new beginning that you want to be mindful of, right? So anytime you do anything new, you give yourself three days before you even think about activating that inner negative chatter. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.